How's it going guys? David here and today I want to talk to you about the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 DG Summilux Super Lens. Okay, it's a prime lens. But in my opinion, the best prime lens currently out there for the Micro Four Thirds system range. First though, I want to talk to you about build quality and how this thing looks. They have made this thing completely out of metal, so metal rings and metal lens hood even. And measuring just 35mm on the body with the lens hood taken off, this thing is basically a pancake prime that you can do just about anything with. All things considered, the aperture on this thing is just insane. A minimum of... 16 and a maximum of 1.7 means you can get a really blurry background very easily and you have a focal range of 15 millimeters so that's really not quite super wide but it's wide that's a 30 millimeter full frame format equivalent the focusing is also super sharp and super quick which brings me actually to the picture quality which is super sharp and very portraying of the scene of life it's very the colors are quite accurate um very crisp so what do we get in the box you've got your lens you've got a back cover a lens cap the metal lens hood which has its own lens cap and then a ring which you'd have to remove to put the lens hood on and it all comes in a nice handy bag so yeah, nice work there, Panasonic. And before I forget, let me just mention that these photos were taken with my, and the video as well, was taken with my Panasonic G7. The video is at 1080p at 50 frames per second, and the photos were are 16 megapixel, the G7. So why do I think that this is the best Micro Four Thirds system prime lens currently out there? Well, two points. Number one, I can't find any faults with this currently, and I probably won't. Maybe I will, but I probably won't. And number two is just the price. The overall value you get with this lens compared to the Feuchtlander, the other Summilux lenses, and the Olympus lenses, they just don't compete. Well, for me at least. Have I forgotten anything? The focal... Minimum focal distance on this is 0.2 meters, so you can get in, you know, really close to those shots, and with the max aperture of 1.7, you can really get a nice blurry background. You can't really do macro shots with this just quite yet, but you can get really close to it and make some nice shots. Some of the technical details, um, yeah, what can I say? The filter thread on this is 46 millimeters. It's got a weight of 115 grams, so that's going to be very light, you know, in your camera bag. Autofocus it has, it's very simple to use lens, you just mount it and there you go, everything's automatic. If you want it to be, you can also switch it up, but everything is basically clip, plug and play, clip and go, you know, that type of thing. That's it from me guys, thanks for watching, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and please comment below what is your favorite lens and I will see you next time. Ciao. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I would also just need to mention that no dogs, no sheep, no cats, no mice, no birds, none of that was harmed. Well, maybe a mice because Misha likes mice. No, no mice, no animals, no one, nothing was harmed in the making of this film. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching again. Ciao.